Aaron here with Ultimate Consulting. Are you ready to be exceptional at your work? Are you ready to be a leader? Not sure how to get there? That's okay. This is for you. So when we're looking at leadership, when we're talking about transformational leadership, what we're really talking about is how to take our organizations to the next level. Everybody gets tied up in, you know, visionary thinking or charisma or, you know, the, the individual. And really what it really boils back down to is just understanding the fundamentals and doing them correctly every time. So we're looking for perfection in the fundamentals, we're looking for perfection in the basics, or as close as to as we can. Um, if you want good examples of this, think of like SEAL Team 6, or Delta Force, or the 724 Special Tactics Group, their Air Force. Um, and what do they all have in common? Every single person does the basics with perfection. There, there isn't a question of whether or not it's something's being done, it is done and it's done right the first time, every time. And so if you wanna build that organization and transform it from being ordinary to extraordinary, where you really have to dial in is the basics. And that starts with you as the leader. You as the leader then have to walk that line. You have to demonstrate that through your day-to-day -day actions. You do that through how you accurately prioritize what's supposed to be going on in the day against the company mission. And then you also do that with how you delegate out tasks, making sure that you've set good expectations, good boundaries, you've adequately or optimally resourced, and then you have good follow-up. And you're making sure things don't fall through the cracks because you're following the systems and procedures you set in place. And then you're teaching your team, different individuals, different points where they need to work on those things as well. And so you help them mold and craft themselves uh, utilizing that work. And in doing that, what you do is everybody starts learning how to pull back the low-hanging fruit. You clean that all up, you get slack out of the line, and all of a sudden the organization is just operating at a different level because everything that used to eat up time isn't anymore. So not only have you gained back like 15 minutes, 20 minutes per task, that's on every single thing. So that, that starts looking like hours a day, hours a week. You know, in some cases you start doing that, you're pulling back, you know, time-wise for the whole team, you know, just a team of four, you, you might pull back a whole work, week worth of the work. You know, that's 40 hours. And that's a lot. And that, you know, that's, you know, that's for the organization as a whole, which means that you guys can spend that time working on more creative solutions, working on better skill or task, you know, better skill development for each member of the team, you know, in more specific things. So if somebody needs help in, you know, the administrative side, which is looking at, you know, how does a task come in? How does it actually get disseminated out? What portions of that need to be actioned and then how? So how do you think through that critically, especially if there's, you know, say serious time constraints or other resource constraints and you can do those things. And so, and the goal of it all being that you get it to go from being, you're managing those things, the team's managing those things. You're getting pulled out of that, that system. They're running it on the day to day on their own, but it's run with perfection because they know what the standard is. And when you need to step in and help out, you just step in and help out. It's not a thought of, it just happens. And so that's kind of where you go from the ordinary to the extraordinary is everything that before had to be a communicated thing. People just know they're just doing it because that's the standard. And so the goal is the basics should really just take care of themselves at an exceedingly high level because they're the basics. And because those are taken care of, everything else can then amp, ramp up and you can be you can perform at a higher level because you have the time to make better decisions you have the time to build more creative solutions you have time to you know to to bring on more work for other things and and that's what you want to do if you want to go from ordinary to extraordinary nail down the basics get them solid demonstrate that in your own actions as a leader and then demand that from your team with patience and grace because it's going to take them time to row into that it's not easy it's hard but it's very doable. So remember, lead from the front and patience and grace. Go from ordinary to extraordinary. You can do it. Knock it out. Till next time.